Good morning, my net friends. Welcome to my net house. Auntie Spirit Wolf here. Back at you with another video. Today I'm going to show you how to make breakfast bars. I usually use the sheets, but unfortunately they didn't have them, but this will work just as good, the crescent roll. Alrighty, I have one um, egg white. I have some turkey that um, I cut up, some turkey meat, luncheon meat. I have Canadian bacon with some sauteed onions. I sauteed the onions first and then I added the Canadian bacon and some cheese. This is just a few things. Um, you could use whatever breakfast stuff you'd like but it just gives you an idea you know how to make them what you can use i got my square pan here i'm gonna lay the dough out all right i have my dough out in my pan just gonna roll it out the wall. Just stretch it out a little bit. And that's what I do. Just pinch them together. over the wall or up too high. So now okay. sometimes they tear but that's okay. You can get some dough where it's thicker and just pinch some off and put it there. Or just press it down. There we go like that. Now I have my little brush. I'm going to take my egg white. Put it all in the pan. And just spread it all around. Like that. Now, we're going to add our ingredients, whatever meat you cut up or cook or whatever, you know, like this turkey. This was just a little bit of deli meat I had in there, so I figured I might as well utilize it. And I'm going to just like that. Put that to the side over. You can use any vegetables you want. Peppers. Green peppers, yellow peppers, red peppers. Put some tomatoes. 
needles if you want them. Kids will like them too. Let me put the bees on. Whatever you want to do, honey. You just bake them according to the this the Pillsbury crescent roll or sheet, and we're gonna go and bake these now. All right, welcome back. This just got done. I let it cool for a little bit, about five minutes. Now I'm slicing it. Yeah, you don't. You don't want to cut it when it first comes out because then all your cheese will be everywhere. Just let it cool for about five minutes. Oh, that looks good. From the wall, let it come in. I mashed up an avocado. I like avocado a lot. So I'm gonna make me some. I use this is lemon juice. You can use fresh lemon juice. Whoa! <laughs> Sprinkle just a little bit of salt. A little bit of garlic powder. Not too much, unless you like really garlic, like me, but I don't want to put too much because you don't want it to overpower the avocado. And just mix that all together. These are even good for after school snack for the kids. Kids really like them. lemon juice. That's mine to be a little creamy. But yeah, you don't have to. <laughs> you don't have to put the guacamole if you don't like it. 
new you. Mm-hmm. Very good. Mm-hmm. Delicious. Definitely, the kids will like these. Like I said, you can use uh, fruit and have a little treat for the kids. Slice up some strawberries, some cream cheese in it, spread it around. Tastes good. Well. That's that, and um, I have added um, my sliders in with this video, so you can see what you can make with the fried bread as well. Welcome back. I have here some chorizo. Some fried potatoes, some bacon, and some sliced cheese. I'm going to show you my native sliders. Now you can put anything you want in them. This is just what I like to put in. You do you and put what you like in them. I love fried potatoes. Who don't, you know? Mm. And Mexican chorizo. Oh, yeah. And gotta have cheese. There's some chorizo there. We're gonna put some potatoes on there. Now, I fried these potatoes with onions in them. Oh, yeah. With some salt. I'm gonna get some bacon to put on that one. Oh, yeah. But yeah, you do it how you like it. Yeah, nice. Yeah, you can use anything. But today, just showing you, giving you some ideas on what to use with your fried bread. Instead of just having it like that with soup. Now... We got some sliders. I call these my native sliders. I'm going to warm them up. And also, I wanted to show you. This is how I'm going to warm them up. Because cold fry bread, because of being fried, you don't want it to get hard, your fry bread. You want it to stay soft, so this is what I'm going to do. Don't seal it, but just lightly put your cover over it, and you can zap it in the microwave for mm, 30-35 seconds. If it's still cold to the touch, when, you, when it gets done, just put it in there for another 15-20 more seconds. Back. I'm just going to turn my kettle on so I can have some tea. Here they are. 
Looks good. Let's try it. Mmm. Good. That is really good. Mm -hmm. You can make them for breakfast. Use breakfast meat and breakfast things. Mix some eggs in with your chorizo and then put it on. Mm-hmm. Delicious. Well, until next time, net friend. Thank you. Like, share, and subscribe. Thank you. Have a good day. You all stay safe. Peace.